Millions of people across China have been affected by widespread flooding. The death toll continues to rise. So too, the economic losses. Uh, Eunice Yun is covering this uh, for us from Langxi in eastern China. She joins us now by phone. And, and Eunice, I know you're just arriving in the region, but how bad do you think this will get? And wh what have you actually seen so far? Well, John, this area has already seen some of the worst flooding in half a century. And we are in Langxi. This is a very small town in eastern China. And on the drive here, we saw an underpass that was partially submerged. Uh, we saw some flooded fields and hundreds of thousands of acres of farmland have been inundated with water affecting millions, especially farmers. Now, many of the farmers here are concerned about their crops. Uh, some say that they might only be able to save a fifth of their yield. So really beyond the immediate flooding, John, people here and across China are worried about the longer term impact on food production and prices. Yeah, they're John. keeping a close eye on those inflation prices. Food is obviously a big problem. But if nothing else, the Chinese government is always good in a crisis, especially these kind of natural disasters. What has the response been? What have you seen? Well, they've been very quick to respond. The military has mobilized troops to block the rising waters that with sandbags and wood, and also to are here to distribute drinking water and food aid. Uh, some of the villagers have been evacuated from the affected areas. Uh, many have moved to higher ground, sometimes on their own. And the disaster authorities are now on higher alert. The, the waters, uh, I have to say, are receding. We are seeing uh, some of the waters receding in many of the areas, John. And I guess if there is uh, 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 some good news in this, at least one of the worst droughts on record has now been well and truly broken. Well, you know, yes and no. The rains have relieved the drought. However, the drought was so severe that in many parts of the country, the earth has been so cracked and hardened that the soil actually hasn't been able to absorb the water properly. And that's why authorities have been so concerned about the rainy season this year. Uh, even prior to the season, uh, the authorities have been warning about the greater possibility of mudslides and flash floods. And that's really what the, the authorities now are concerned about. They're concerned about these mudslides and flash floods are patrolling the areas for areas that could be most at risk. And also they're concerned now about the possibility of an outbreak of disease, John. Okay, Eunice Yoon on the line there for us on the latest with the floods hitting China. Thank you, Eunice.